It's Eddie Campos here with Remax Preferred Associates. And no, I'm not trying to sell you a house in Sylvania. I'm not trying to sell you a house in West Toledo. I'm trying to give you some opportunities to be able to have a house in Florida, St. Pete's in Florida, to be exact. I'm talking with my friend Sarah Albee with Keller Williams down there. And Sarah and I work together. And I wanted to be able to give you guys kind of a glimpse of what's happening down at St. Pete's how easy it is to get to St. Pete's. And if you've been thinking about getting a, a second home, a vacation home, an investment property, St. Pete's is a fantastic place to be. Sarah, how are you? It looks beautiful in back of you. I'm great. It is 80 and sunny and I'm on the beach. I mean, how can I complain? <laughs> okay. Okay. Now I think you're just bragging. <laughs> <laughs> So, Sarah, obviously, beaches are prevalent in Florida. What can you tell me about the beach that you're at today? Yeah, so this is, um, the beach that I'm at today is Passa Grill, and it's just south of St. Pete Beach. It's a long strip off of it. Um, St. Pete okay. Beach is at number one beach in um, the U.S., mainly because it has room for people to get to go and enjoy um, beautiful sand, and you can dip in the water you like as soon as you walk in it's crystal blue you feel like you're in the caribbean it's just amazing um and then pass a grill i love it because this is long strip you can walk the beach you can go all the way down turn the corner and walk the bay it's my favorite beach by far so and i'm assuming that beaches are just everywhere down there correct everywhere Fire coast. <laughs> so you know we're, we're talking about saint peach we're also talking a little bit about real estate here are there homes that are on the beaches, condos that are on the beaches? There are. There are homes on the beaches. I'm going to turn around for a second. I don't know if you can see behind me. Yes, I can. Yeah, there are some homes directly behind me. Um, a lot of those are a little bit larger. Um, I know one of them is a five-bed, five-bath, and is um, on the market for about $4 million. But great investment opportunity if you want to be able to do an Airbnb and still be able to use one room for yourself when you come down here. Um, but yeah, there's tons of homes right on the beach. And I'm assuming the market is just as aggressive down there as it is up here in Toledo, Ohio. I would as uh, assume the market is maybe a little bit more <laughs> aggressive. Um, I mean, it's not uncommon for there to be 30 offers on a house right now. Um, sure. Yeah. So you just, you have to be patient and you have to know that uh, that's a thing. But I love clients and getting them into the homes because I have them on concierge mode, send out as soon as it hits the market, and we do FaceTime showings and get into the house or right away. That way we don't miss the opportunity. Sure. So aside from beaches, aside from some uh, great homes and condos that are on the beaches, what else is there to do down in St. Pete's? Yeah, so this is about 13 minutes from downtown St. Pete, um, and they are just known for having a ton of local things, whether it be different restaurants. I, I don't even know if there are chains in St. Pete. It's all just local restaurants. It's so great. Um, there's always live music. There's some beautiful rooftop. Actually, there's a rooftop bar um, just down the beach, and they have um, a full view of the golf and the bay. You can just like sit there. Oh, wow. Some live music and just look at the water literally surrounding you. It's like you're on an island. It's amazing. That is fantastic. Uh, yeah. You guys don't happen to have seafood restaurants down there, do you? <laughs> we do. We do. Have <laughs> I actually think our seafood restaurants are some of the best in Florida. Um, a lot of times, and this is just me, a lot of times Florida restaurants um, are towards tourists. And, you know, they just kind of put stuff out very quickly. But St. Pete actually has some really good local cooks and people are from here and they care about the local cuisine. So it has some of my favorite fish dishes around here. That's awesome. So what about other things besides food? I mean, I obviously I love to eat. Uh, you can <laughs> tell by looking at me, but what other things are there to do in St. Pete's? Yeah, we have a lot of museums. We have a uh, glass art and um, local artists featured and then we have the Dolly Museum. Um, I didn't know who Dolly was before I moved down here but I know my mom was so excited. She's like the Dolly Museum we have to go. <laughs> um, we have the pier which is one of my favorite places ever. On a Saturday you'll see people rollerblading or walking their dog, hanging out with their kids. There's a splash pad that you can run around um, and have a cocktail and listen to the um, it's just, it's a very lively 
lovely place. There's always something happening. Uh, we have Saturday morning markets downtown St. Pete. Oh, nice. For, yeah, local farmers will come. You're on the water, you're on the bay, and you get to shop at your farmer's market. <laughs> That's and, very nice. Yeah, it's so great. You can't beat that. Um, and with, with the glass blowing museum, that's a nice little connection to Toledo, Ohio. It is. Yes, it's definitely a good connection. And I always see scales around here um, that say Toledo, Ohio. I'm like, I'm so <laughs> I can't get away. <laughs> Boy, that goes back a few years. Uh, the Toledo Scale Company. I mean, that's that's one of those things, kind of like glass and fiberglass that were you know Toledo is known for. I'm not sure whatever happened to the Toledo Scale Company if they moved or if they. They ended up closing, but yeah, you're right. That was a, a pinnacle of our area. <laughs> well, they all came down here because they're everywhere. They're every public <laughs> I've <I'm> been <getting> to. <laughs> so what is this pink castle I've been reading about? Yeah, so it's actually right around the corner from me. Um, it is a place. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a huge pink hotel. It literally looks like oh. a castle called the Don Cesar. And they have events there for people, not just on vacation, but um, locals. You can sign up and use their pool. They have two water uh, front pools that you can use. And they have horse polo happening on some Sundays. And just a, a ton of different events that are really fun. Make you feel like you're in Europe or something like that. <laughs> well, you're really making me jealous. I mean, I love Northwest Ohio. And I love going over to Lake Erie, but it looks nothing like what you've got in back of you there. So <laughs> I, I'm sure you've got uh, just amazing things that you guys can take part in uh, on a daily, weekly basis. It's, it's probably hard to choose what are you not going to do, right? <laughs> it really is. It's hard to stay home because there's always something happening. You don't want to. And then, I mean, of course, a lot of people down here have boats. Uh, you see very active boating um, paddle boards we went to boat sock the other day which was a music festival out on the water oh nice you took out and you listen to music on a pirate ship it was pretty cool <laughs> oh that's so cool yeah but um i i know you asked about the houses around here and i showed you the ones right behind but there are a ton of condos you know just down the street a little way still on the beach there's like a one bedroom right now out there for 439 there's a three bedroom, two bathroom house out there for 970. And then a couple other condos are two bedroom. I'm um, still on the beach for 829. There's two of those out there. So there's definitely a wide range uh, depending on what your what your goal is and how large of an investment you want. <laughs> sure. And then if somebody wanted to uh, buy a home and start using that in a way where they're going to have it as an investment property, do you have connections down there to be able to help people get that established? Absolutely, yeah. And one thing that we have to be cautious of when we're looking for properties is, is it in a area that allows you to do short-term rentals? Um, some communities like Clearwater have changed their rental policies. So unless the condo is grandfathered in, uh, you have to do over a three-month rental. Um, so it's just something to keep in mind. But if we know that that's your goal going into it, we can keep the search to what that is. And then of course, set you up with a property manager to help you with that process. Well, that's a good point. I'll make sure to keep that in the back of my mind when I'm speaking to people up here about possibly heading down there. And then real quick, uh, before we leave, pretty easy to get there from Toledo, right? It's so easy. So there is a um, St. Pete Clearwater Airport, which is 15 minutes from here, um, 10 minutes from downtown St. Pete, and it has a direct flight to Toledo, Ohio. Uh, it takes maybe two and a half hours. It's a small airport both ways, so um, you, you don't feel like you're that far. You know, four hours and you're back home and you're with your family, or four hours you're down here out of the cold and into the sunshine. Yeah, that's half a day's work. I, I, I'd take uh, four hours to get down to St. Pete's. That works for me. Absolutely. Well, Sarah, thanks for taking the time. I really appreciate it. I'm super jealous about that background, and especially when I look out my window and see what it looks like today. I really appreciate everything that you're doing for us. Thanks for the connection, and I'll be in touch with you soon. We'll talk some more about St. Pete and some of the homes that are available down there in the future. Sounds great. Thanks, Eddie. Have a great day.